Hello and welcome to The Time Is Now. Today's episode is all about finding the resources and the whole journey of becoming the go-to expert in your field and getting that visibility so that you can make the impact you want in the world. And in order to talk about this topic, I have a very inspiring guest, Furkan Karayel. Furkan, thank you so much for being here. Could you please introduce yourself? Thank you so much for the kind invitation, Amal. My name is Furkan Karayel. I'm the author of the book, Inclusive Intelligence, How to Be a Role Model for Diversity and Inclusion in the Workplace. I'm a diverse and inclusion speaker and part-time lecturer in the field. And uh, I live in Ireland. That is me in a nutshell. I love it. And it's been just amazing to watch Furkan through her journey. I've been watching her for a few months before I invited her on the show, how she lives up to her full potential and to her mission. And that's why I invited her to ask, to tell us how she's been managing to position herself in this field and become renowned for that. But I wonder, Furkan, if you can share it with us here, um, you know, what was your biggest challenge that along the way of trying to position yourself in this field of inclusion and diversity? There's a lot of people who do that. So how did you manage mm -hmm. to make yourself heard and seen in this very noisy field? Yeah, I used to, I still do, judge myself a lot. So that was a big obstacle for me to, to be there, visible. And what if I get like hate messages? What if I get this and this? What people say negative things about, for example, the work that I have done, maybe put myself 100% there. So, so many questions, so many judgments of myself before anyone could actually judge me before was, I think, a biggest challenge. How did I get over it? Um, I used to believe in others' um, words about me that I would value it more than I would uh, value my own judgment or my uh, own idea. So I had to stop it. I said, Furkan, you know yourself better than other people. Yes, listen to people, listen to their ideas, but you make the judgment. If you're going to fail, that's fine. You fail it with your own idea, not with someone else's idea that you have taken on board. So your idea, your confidence matters the most when it comes to your decisions. And I'm a person still that is <laughs> struggling to make decisions with every single thing, even when I'm looking for a shoes to buy, I struggle with that. But when making decisions, make sure that the the decision comes from you. It is not 100% being influenced by all the people. Yes, take them on board, filter them, see what works, what doesn't work for you, but make the final call and make the final judgment. And then uh, you gain more confidence in yourself and with your visibility. And you see that it's not a scary thing actually to put a product out there to be more visible. We are human beings. We are going to be not perfect as anyone else in the world, but not to put too much pressure on ourselves, to judge ourselves. This is a message I would like to give to the listeners, anybody who, who is over thinkers, <laughs> over judging of themselves. Just relax. We are like you too. We have gone through it. Just give yourself a little bit more time and more uh, really on your thoughts than how others are perceiving you. Confidence is the key here, I guess, to being able to embrace the spotlight, right? If we don't believe in ourselves and are always worried of judgment, it can be very hard to actually get the end goal, which is to make the impact by being seen as the expert in that field and that issue that we want to solve. So I appreciate that you brought that up. And in this episode, you tell us more about how you got to where you are today. So thank you so much for being so generous with everything we sh you shared with us in this episode. My pleasure. It's such a great time chatting with you and uh, listen to us and uh, yeah. share some feedbacks. And I'm looking forward to hearing what you are thinking of my my journey <laughs> yes please do so find Furkan's story in the link below or above this video or simply go to the time is now dot biz slash 310 we can't wait to meet you there and stay tuned to turn your challenges into great opportunities to create more growth impact and alignment <laughs>